Chapter 29 Manasa Bhajari Guru Charanam Sheshama Raju knew this was the final blow to this strange saga. Yet he tried to persuade his little brother to go home with him. He said, Raju, Please come back home with me. I am not going to return. Satya spoke without a trace of attachment, with a smile over his face. Sheshama Raju knew it was time to call the parents. The parents reached after three days as Uruvakonda was far from Puttaparthi. As soon as Satya saw his mother, he said, Look, Maya has come. Mother wept profusely, yet spoke out of love. My dear, please come back to us. There is no more bondage between you and me. Give up all efforts to pull me back into Maya. No one can move me from my resolve. The mother was shattered to hear these words. Yet, carried away by motherly love, she inquired whether her dear son had eaten anything at all. Raju has neither had food nor water since the past three days. As soon as she had heard this, she ran to the kitchen, prepared a meal and lovingly offered it to Satya. Satya mixed all the food together, made three morsels and placed a morsel in his mother's hand. He took the morsel from her hand and as he ate it, he said, Maya has left. I am no longer bound. He repeated this for all the morsels just like men who are about to renounce the world do. Satya was free from the great illusion since birth. This was a scene he had to enact in this divine drama. People sang bhajans all the three days in front of Satya. His classmates reached. Anticipating a reaction from their Raju, they surrounded him and started reminding him of their acquaintance to him. Raju, do you remember me? I used to sit behind you. Satya did not respond. All of them cried bitterly. People came to witness the Sankalpa of this boy seated on a rock and seek his blessings. Satya sang a very inspiring bhajan to them. Manasa bhajare Guru Charanam Dostara Bhava Sam
सागर तारणम दिस इंस्पायरिंग वजन इज नाउ नोन टू एवरी साई डेवोटी अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड it inspires one to dedicate one's mind to the service of the lotus feet of the guru to cross the formidable ocean of samsara